What irritates you the most about the other person? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Can I start? I, I want to start. I want to start. I want to start. Yo, this man. Yo, it drives me nuts that he cannot. Okay, I know they say men can multitask, net, but if he's on his phone, net, and he, he, he's always on his phone, man, it's like he's a drug dealer. His phone is always ringing, so he can't. Like if he's on his phone. He, And I asked you guys what you would like to know about us. And um, there were some questions that were sent. And, I'll, and we will be answering those questions today. Yeah. Won't you be greeting the people? Hello, guys. Hey. Oh, and I've got grey braids. I've got grey braids. How these braids actually came about. I went to the salon to... Well, I, the only thing I ever do is braids. Um, so I went to the salon Actually, I sent my hair lady a picture of the color of braids that I want. I'll insert it And then when I got to the salon she had bought gray hair piece. I nearly fainted You're Beautiful Thank you <laughs> And then because um, I was pressed for time um, Had I decided to wait Okay, I, I got to the salon early, so by the time that I was there, the places that sell hairpiece were closed. So had I decided to wait, they would have started someone else and I would have gone home the following day. But I think I, I like how I look with these grey braids, even though it wasn't what um, I was going for. Say hello. Hello, Nana. Hello. Hello, Baba. Hello, Baba. Hello, Baba. Mm -hmm. Ah, my daddy. My daddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah. <laughs> hey, yo, Bobo. Come closer to me. <sighs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> the first question: How and where did we meet? You wanna answer it? <laughs> <clears throat> answer. <laughs> How and where did we meet? Uh, it was. 2012, uh, second semester of 2012 at school. I was, she was doing her first year and I was doing my mini year. <laughs> Your hundredth year. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the first day at school after recess, I see Bless this, you. I see this beautiful Don't girl with uh, blonde hair and, uh, oh. And by the way, I used to be very adventurous with the with the colors I did on my hair when I was in university. Yeah. So when he met me, I had like very short rice crispies like dreadlocks. Is it blonde? <laughs> yeah. So like yeah, I I just fell in love, man. Ah, fell in love uh, when you first saw me. Stop lying to the people. <laughs> I did. Ah, so how can you love someone you don't know? Say you say you liked me. You saw a pretty girl and you liked me. Yeah, whatever. So, um, yeah, and the first time I spoke to her, uh, tell you are you 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 are summarizing. Here's what happened. We, okay, it was the first day back from recess, next. So he saw me with my friends with my male friends and he, he he was seeing me from behind so he was like to his friends he wants to see that girl from the front so he came to my friends and i and he he borrowed a pen hmm. so like i couldn't understand but out of all the people who were who were around he chose to come borrow a pen from us so i just saw a random guy and i didn't understand what his story was actually and then after that, what happened? Uh, he used to like looking at me in class. And she would look, <laughs> she would stare back. You used to like staring at me. And then I think what happened? Uh, yeah, this one day you were going to buy fruits. Uh, so I asked uh, to, 
to accompany you. Mm-hmm. And that's when I introduced myself to you and I knew you. And I asked you to actually help me with the certain subject. Mm. Uh, physical. Physical chemistry. chemistry. So, Note, physical. Yeah. So, and then just uh, like two weeks later, me, you, our lecture announced that you, okay. you, you received... Uh, you received an award for best chemistry student uh, for first semester. I was like, ooh! <laughs> Beauty and brains. Ah, this one is mine. <laughs> so, yeah. So, from that time up until 24th of September when she she agreed to to be my girlfriend, I was always uh, harassing. Cupping, uh, harassing her, <laughs> cupping her to, to the bus that, station. Bus stop. Yeah, and I would carry her bag, her school bag, okay, which is which was a handbag, mm. and would every day. For those who know Pretoria from Acadia, we were going to Central Vanervald uh, Pretoria, and Pretoria, mm. but not like uh, directly at Vanervald. There, but ah, it's 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 like between Vanervald and Andres. That's for the people who. Who know the old yeah, yeah. I think Andres is not Tabasuhum or Whatever, but yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I would, every day after class, that would be my mission. So, yeah. Did we answer? Uh, yeah. Okay, on the 24th of has... September, that's when she agreed to be, to be my Your girlfriend. girlfriend. We, we had met, I think, end of July. Next. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then, yeah, that is how and, and we met. So basically, we met in front of our lecture hall. Yeah, yeah that's where we, yeah, we sure. that's where we met. And then the um, next question is, what was your first impression of the other? I thought he was a, a FB. F, yeah, an FB. That was my first impression of him. What did you I, think of I him? thought it, she was those Pretoria girls. Who likes to party a lot? <laughs> but I did. Mugwanti like. So. <laughs> but I did like to party. Mugwanti like. like. Yeah. So, but that was before I knew how intelligent how intelligent she was. So, um, Mugwanti can be intelligent. Is that what you're saying? No, for now. Uh, ah, man, it's a topic for another day. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not sure. I thought you were a fuck boy. I thought you were a Mugwanti. Yeah. Who likes, who likes, who likes a uh, short stay? <laughs> Kilo wana, the, a combination of colored hair, blonde, blonde, blonde hair, hair, and shorts. shorts. Ah, no, no. So, why did you approach me if you said Kingdom Gwent? I don't know. FB tendencies, yeah, it means you were an FB. You were just trying your luck with Mugwent. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next question is how and where was our first date? <laughs> I know it was a Wednesday. Mm. Uh, Hello, Baba. I know it was a Wednesday. Ah, come here, you. <laughs> I know it was a Wednesday. Uh, she took me out in the effects. <laughs> Because, hey, because you were broke as me. Ah, hey, res life. Hey, res life was difficult. Hey, yeah, hey. For those who know Rez's life, hey, it was difficult. You have to like manage your money strictly from uh, from month end to the following month end. So these things of uh and the date. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so she we went to uh Wimpy. No, ah, so uh, you we know went it was a Wednesday, but you said Zoom. Wake Wednesday again, don't you? Yes. <laughs> So she bought me. I bought you two Wednesday. burgers. Imagine. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, not pella. Uh, yeah, she 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 stayed home, so money was not a problem. Ah, I it remember was. That. You know how, like my 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 father was strict with money. If you finished money, uh, during the month, you have to account to the last cent what you did. So imagine me saying, "I took you out." <laughs> 
I took 70 rand. Was it 70 rand by then? I don't remember. For Wakey Wednesday. Yeah. I don't remember. So, ish, I had to. I went, if, yeah. So, uh, that's. Uh, that was our first. Yeah. <laughs> How was it? It was great. Plus, Nagara Daddy. So, <laughs> two beggars. So, it was awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. I, but I won't lie to you and say that's when I I, I saw Rekim Sad, you know. Now we can go no Jaffe. So yeah. <laughs> and then, but it was great, yeah. It was great. Uh, right. And then the next question is did you instantly fall in love when he proposed for a relationship? Oh okay, I think this relationship is directed to me. I mean this question is directed <clears throat> to me. Um, no, you don't. I, I don't believe um, you instantly fall in love with someone. You like someone and then you get to know them and then you fall in love with them. And also at the time when uh, <laughs> we met, I had a boyfriend. No? Go on to tendencies. I had a boyfriend, but I realized that you know what? Mama. Yes, baby. What about? Hello. Hello, people of the internet. <laughs> um, okay, where was I? Yes, I had a boyfriend, but I, I, I realized, man, but that relationship wasn't going anywhere. So, I guess I so was she wearing, made the right choice. I was wearing my options. <laughs> she made the right choice. So, basically, Ebe, Ebe Lata, he was here. He was here. No, thing is, you know, no data. We know we're no tertiary. Ah, baby. Ah, baby. Now you want people to know who it was. All right, so sure. Uh, but uh, yeah, I didn't instantly fall in love with him because this whole uh, multiple partners thing was new to me. So, how can I, how old were you? When we met, I was 17. Because, yeah, I was 17. 2012. Yeah, I was 17. Mm. And I was 17 because we met in July, but I turned 18 in, in August. Yeah, and I turned... And you, were, and you turned 24. 20. Aye. 24. No, sorry, 22. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I turned 22. And then, <laughs> and then the next question is... <laughs> When did you meet my family? When did, when did I meet yours and when did you meet mine? So I think 2013. We started dating in 2012. Right? Yeah. And he came... He came a car. Um, 2012 December. Ah, no. When you actually met my family, it was 2013. But he, it wasn't <coughs> like formally, mom, meet my boyfriend. No. He was from church and I think he needed... A textbook from me. Yeah. So he came in and he ate a Sunday lunch because mm. my mom is good when it comes to this. Yeah, come, come. <laughs> so he come, ate come. Sunday lunch and then, yeah, Fundis. Hey, um, fundis. <laughs> <laughs> so they were, they were quite worried about you. Um, mom, fundis. Um, mom, fundis. Yeah, so. <laughs> And when did I meet yours? Uh, you met my <coughs> eldest sister in 2013 also. Uh, first, I, I remember you, you, she was working somewhere in Go Pretoria Central and I, I needed something from her. I think I needed money, but <laughs> yeah. So she, she accompanied, accompanied me to... So, to collect whatever went to collect money it must have yeah. been money because you were a broke ass nigga yeah so yeah i introduced i introduced uh her to you and then my other sister i can't remember okay the parents but, let's talk about them yo parents. the parents <laughs> Ooh, if you know my parents you would we, answer that we met in, we met we got married in 2017 yeah we, we met in 2017 yeah sure sure if you during, know my parents during the negotiation yeah, in, in, during the negotiations yeah, that's, when, that's when i first met his yeah, parents yeah, yeah, he's yeah. he's from a, his parents are very conservative and they yeah. are very 
Yeah, they are very conservative. Mm, mm. So they don't do this meeting of this girlfriends. Meeting of don't girlfriends. I, I, nah. mm. And then the next question is, how did you know I was the one? I for now. Na- okay, let me answer because yeah. I was one. Uh, how did I know he was the one? Okay, um. He's very supportive. He's he's always there. He's always there for me. And I like to be babied. I like to be babied. And he does exactly that. He babies me. He's always there. He's always there. And we're in bed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're in bed. We're in bed. Yeah. So, basically, this answer is also how you, you swept serve, serve me off my feet, ne? Yeah. yeah. We are in bed and he's very supportive. Yeah, he's he's always there. I think that's when I realized that I want to spend the rest of my life with this man. Uh, for now, like, uh, yeah, she's she's also a very supportive, uh, a peaceful person, and uh, I don't like drama. Yeah, and you know, uh, she cooks. She cooks. Gents, she must cook. So yeah, like um, and you know, for now when I love somebody, you want to, you want me to show the people my boobs, right now? Yeah. So I knew, I knew, I knew. I just knew, like everything just fell mm. into place. You know, and I didn't have to yeah. ask a lot of questions. Uh, Not, nothing, nothing questions. felt forced. I think yeah. when something is for you, ne, it it doesn't feel forced. Everything just happens organically. Yeah, sure, sure. Nothing feels forced. If if you have to force something. Then I know yeah. it's not for you. So everything just flowed. Everything came into place. Um, before we were rudely interrupted by Usain <laughs> yeah. But basically, I yeah, wh- whatever, whether it it's a job, a friendship, if something is meant to be, mm. it shouldn't feel forced. Mm. So the moment that something feels forced, just know that. Um, it isn't meant for you. It's not supposed to yeah. happen. Mm. So yeah, and I think okay. Also, I knew that he's the one because I think we are very much alike um, mm. in the sense that okay, we aren't really much into friends. We are each other's best friends. We are. Can I say we are loners because? Yeah. Yeah. So we are alike in that sense, and also we. Yeah, I like man. So I think mm. that also confirmed by this. This yeah. is for me. This for is for now. I had only one friend. For yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah. So are we done? Yeah, I knew. Yeah, yeah and knew. you need to pray as well to to God. Um, to to show you is this really what you want for me? Or isn't this what you want for me? Mm. Mm. Okay, and then the next question. How long have you been together? Relationship and marriage. Uh, relationship is... This is our seventh year. Our seventh year. year and uh, Our second year of marriage. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. And then, how do you resolve problems? Look, for I, I have to be honest. Uh, for now, I'm still trying to uh, find my way or find my way into resolving problems, our problems. Uh, there's no like for now. There's no specific thing that I have to do. Uh, for example, if I have to apologize, I need, still need to. Uh, what do you what do you call this? I still need to learn how to apologize. So I'm he's, still learning. He's not a peacemaker. I think that's that's the point that he's trying to bring across. But I'm still I'm still learning. On the other hand, I I hate I hate conflict. I hate 
drama. Even though you instigate them. I might insti- well, okay, I don't know, but... Okay, I think the thing about me is that I'm very vocal. If I don't like something, you will know that I don't like something. Uh, so, because... Okay, but th- um, this is specifically to my marriage. I'm not talking about my other relationships. I'm now talking about my marriage. You will definitely... He, he definitely knows if I don't like something. So, uh, what was the question? How do you resolve problems? Okay, so we... I talk. I I, le- I let him know, and he he mostly says Mama. that. Hello, Mama. Baba. Hello, baby. And he mostly says Mama. that I complain a lot. He likes to say that I complain a lot. Mm-hmm. So my question to him is, if I don't let you know how I feel, then how will you know that going forward I shouldn't do the same thing because my wife doesn't like it. So I'm a very vocal person. I need to talk about things or else I won't be okay. So in order for me to be okay and for us to move on from whatever the problem was, we need to communicate. Um, He's still learning because what he does is that, okay, I'll I'll tell him, you did A, B, C, D and I didn't like that. And then what he's going to do now is, but you did it. You did the same thing that you are complaining about two days ago. So my question then will be, why didn't you let me know two days ago that Dimpo you did A B C D? Because Why did you have to wait for me to tell you? But Tedo, I didn't like it when you some did things this. are not worth. Should I say fighting for or something? And some things are just not worth. Yeah. But, but, if, it, but, so, if, it's not, but if it's not worth fighting for, then why do you bring it up when I when I? Because I thought when I left it two days ago, when I didn't say uh, yes, anything baby. about it, was b- because I didn't like think it was worth yes, our Papa. time to talk about it. Hey, but remember that something Mama. might not bother Mama. you whereas Mama. it bothers me. Mama. So how we basically Mama. resolve problems Mama. is by is by talking. Yeah, sure. Communication, Communication is very important. And then the next question is um, what do you do for a living and are you using your your degree? I'm a shepherd. <laughs> and I'm a chef. Yeah. Yeah. We don't use so it means that we don't use our degrees. Mm. But we're not telling people to not to study. <laughs> we must study. Yeah, study. <laughs>